COVID stress is the topic right now. I can't even tell you how many people I've seen with symptoms all just related to COVID, whether it's because they're sitting on their computer all day long now, they're in Zoom meetings all day long, they're teachers and they're on Zoom all day long or whatever, or they're just not getting out anymore because of COVID. So it doesn't matter if you're sitting at your computer all day or if you're just not doing what you used to do all day, whether it's just like going to your friend's house, um, you're stressed and you're holding it probably in your neck and your shoulders and that's what most of us do. So number one, just be aware. Turn on your awareness and chill out <laughs> in this region, this whole thing. You're probably holding your shoulders just ever so slightly to where nobody would really notice but I can see that my muscles are on and I can see that there is just a slight elevation happening and here I am relaxed and there's a huge difference and it you you probably don't even feel it yourself but um, over time you're really gonna feel it and it's gonna be the result it's gonna result in a lot of pain through here a lot of tightness a lot of stiffness you're gonna have decreased range of motion turning side bending you're gonna notice that when you're driving um, and sleeping you can wake up with tension headaches um, oh so many other things but yeah lots lots of tension lots of tension headaches a couple things that we can that I give people right off the bat oh, number one pay attention to your posture pay attention to your posture pay attention to your posture <laughs> <laughs> notice when your shoulders are up here and relax them that's the biggest thing that you can do for yourself all day long yes it takes energy it takes awareness and it's annoying but if you would rather not have pain then just do it it's super easy it's such an easy fix um, the other thing is that if you're like at a computer all day long you're always forward you're in this position and so it doesn't it might not seem like terrible posture it's not like it's not like this but it's just enough that your shoulders are constantly rounded forward and your neck is slightly forward and your thoracic spine is now rounded forward. So get out of that posture. So here's my neutral, this is my good posture and even my neck can come down. Tendency to do this. So get that head back down. It's gonna feel like you're looking down at the ground and that's fine. Teach yourself that that's the right place to be. And here is the exercise that I give. <laughs> I haven't even told you yet. You're just swinging your arms open like a door. You're just giving yourself some external rotation versus this internal rotation posture that you're constantly in. And even if you're not at a computer all day, chances are you're doing something in front of you because we all are. It's hard to avoid doing something like this all day long. You're rarely out to the side. So get yourself out to the side. You basically want to reverse that posture that you're in all day long and just go through like 10 of them. Stretch everything out. If you are at a desk all day and you're working, then set the timer for every 20 to 30 minutes and do like two sets of 10 of these. Get into your chin tuck, perfect posture, elongation of the spine, and pump out 20 of them. Since I already mentioned it, chin tuck is the other exercise. And you know what, forget chin tuck. It's called cervical retraction. What it really is is the chin is retracting or the cervical spine is retracting back. And so we want this type of motion. We want a double chin and then relax. And pull it back and relax. And here's the other tip, relax your jaw. And relax your jaw all day long too. Notice if you clench your chuck. If you clench here, if you're here, then chances are you're also kind of biting down in the back. You might not grind your teeth, you might not like even be aware of it, but you might be holding tension here and that creates shoulder pain, neck pain, headaches, all sorts of things, radiating symptoms. <sighs> so much to pay attention to, but it's so easy to kind of fix. The, you just create awareness and just, um, be really committed to it and uh, you'll see some changes. You don't need someone to manually be mobilizing all your tissues and joints and all that. A lot of what 
I teach is it's on you to make these changes and they make the biggest change overall.